failing versus regret. We got to talk about it because so many people fear failing. So many people fear not getting what they want out of starting a journey because they've broken promises to themselves and then they end up regretting it later on. I mean, I've been that type of man before and I don't like that feeling, those thoughts at all, knowing I could do better, but I just never did better with what I did, all right? Right now, we're going to be talking about failing versus regret. Welcome to the New Level Podcast, the number one podcast for ambitious people who want more out of life, all right? Quick shout out to all platforms. We got YouTube. We hit 600 subs this month. We hit 600 subs this month. I appreciate everybody who shows support on YouTube. We have Instagram. We're tapped in right now on Instagram Live. My boy, SS Ant, appreciate you. Appreciate the support as well as everybody else who's showing love on Instagram. We have TikTok, Facebook. I appreciate everybody's support up there. We got Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Anchor. Listen, we hit 1,200 listens on the podcast. I appreciate everybody's support loud and clear. appreciate everybody's support. If you do have any podcast requests, just go ahead and submit them. DM me on Instagram. Message me on Facebook. Leave a review down below if this podcast episode gave you value. All right? There's a story time that I want to share with you all because it's going to inspire the hell out of you all. Okay? When it comes down to failing versus regret, I'm going to open up and just let you all know About a year ago, I dropped out of college. I decided to drop out of college my last year. Now, there's plenty of people that are close to me, family, friends, who weren't really supportive of that, and that's okay. Like, because people have their own vision and perspective about what they want you to do and what they want themselves to do. Okay, but the point of the matter is, a lot of people didn't understand why I made this decision, and it was because I didn't want to regret the decision of going all in or giving half or 50% towards a journey of my life and looking back and being like, you know what, I think I could have done better. If I was going to make sure I was going to follow a journey or complete a goal, I wanted to make sure I was going to give my all. And so at that given moment, I had decided to drop out of school and go all in on my online coaching business. Now, the reason why I did this was because I had mentors inspiring me. I had mentors, guides, people, coaches with the results that I wanted. I surrounded myself around the right people. The things that we always talk about all year, making sure that you have a small circle and you stay around focused individuals, that is what I did. And for about, I believe, nine months, because I I hired my coaches around March 2021, I dropped out December 2021, and so I had been around the right people for nine months. And these are the lessons that I learned, okay? These are the lessons that I learned. Just two quick lessons, all right? Number one is where your attention goes, your energy flows, all right? Where your attention goes, your energy flows. What does this mean? If you're 50% in this category working towards a goal and you're 20% working towards this goal and you're 10% working towards this goal, let's say those goals is school or let's say these goals are making sure that you're the best athlete ever and then you want to, let's say you want to invent the next new phone or whatever, right? The point of the matter is people who accomplish great, great goals People that we look up to, okay, if you like basketball, Kobe Bryant, if you got a favorite artist, put them in your mind. People that we look up to, those type of people went all in on their goal. They didn't really split where they were dedicated at. And that's the point that I'm trying to let you all know about. In order to accomplish big goals, I'm not talking about average about everybody else, every, everybody and their mama completes. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the big goals, the people that everybody admires, Okay the people that we grow inspiration from, okay? Those type of people, they go all in. They go all in. And if they they diversify, meaning they go different routes at different points in their journeys, they've already accomplished something so big that they can afford to do that. But most of us can't afford to do that because, because our time is limited. We haven't accomplished that yet. We gotta be real with ourselves. The second lesson that I learned is it takes extreme focus. It takes extreme focus to keep Success. Keyword, keep success. Now, the reason why I say keep instead of get success is because many people can get success. Many people can get a lot of money. Many people can get a fit body. Many people can lose weight. Many people can gain muscle. As a matter of fact, everybody can. But the thing is, everybody can't keep it. I want you to picture or just listen about People, just imagine somebody winning the lottery, they don't know how to handle money, and then they spend it, they blow it all, okay? Maybe you don't personally know somebody who's done that, but we've all heard stories of people who've done that. 
Maybe you've heard of a celebrity who had all these, all these resources, knew all these people and still went broke. I remember listening to stories of NBA players who have won championships and they end up broke. Why? Because it's easy to get success when you want it. It's easy to be like, okay, this is my goal, this is what I want, and I'm gonna get it no matter what. It's easy, okay? What's not easy is making sure that you keep it. Those are the two lessons right there. When it comes down to failing versus regret, you have to know that your attention, where your attention goes, your energy flows. You cannot be split into eight to four eight different things. You can't, you're not an octopus, man. You got two hands and you need a certain amount of sleep. You need to make sure that that goal that you're going in, you're giving it your best so you can get the result in an efficient amount of time. Okay. And the last, last but not least, the second lesson is it takes extreme focus to keep success. If it took you a lot to get it, why do you think that you're going to have to give less once you have it? Nah, no, no, it's like looking at a luxury car and being like, man, I want that BMW, I want that Mercedes, and you know it's $60,000, $60, so you work your ass off to get it, right? You're working hard to get it. Then once you get it, do you stop making money? Once you get it, you still have to maintain it. Once you get it, you have to make sure that you keep the tires up. You got to get the oil changed. You got to keep the maintenance up, okay? Success doesn't just stay there. You have to be committed. And one of the best ways to make sure that you're committed is to make sure that you're all in from the start. That way you don't have to worry about losing what you get or regretting what you never had, all right? This is the New Level Podcast, the number one podcast for ambitious people who want more out of life. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you got value. If you're listening to this on Anchor, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts, I appreciate you tapping in. Make sure that you go ahead and leave a review if this podcast episode gave you value. And like always, love from Instagram. We got my family, Instagram family tapped in right now. TikTok, Facebook family. I appreciate everybody that's tapped in. Look, we going live again Monday, 4 p.m. Let's get it. Peace.